guys so I was asked to show you how I photograph my cards for my blog and I want to kind of have a disclaimer I have a lot of expensive photo equipment because I enjoy taking photos and I love just using these equipment but you really don't need it um, there's a few things you want to think about when you do your cards. One of them is that you need to have good lighting. But that doesn't mean you have to have expensive lighting. You can use sunshine. Just ordinary sunshine. Taking photos in daytime will help you a lot with taking good pictures. And the cheaper the camera you have, the more important the light source is. Uh, but still, if you have a really cheap camera, then you really want to take your photos at daytime, prefer preferably when it is as light as possible, like noon. While uh, the less, the more, the more expensive camera you have, the more settings you have in the camera to be able to uh, put in to be able to handle worse light. But you still want to have the best light you can get now. I live in Sweden and in Sweden we have a lot of overcast and during the winter we don't have that much daytime sunlight so I have these which is photo lights. I bought these as a set for £120 on Amazon. So these are my, my light source and this I use also when I record my videos because this is where I record my videos. I just point my camera straight down on my work surface. Um, the second thing you want to think about when you uh, take photos of your cards is you want to have some sort of backdrop because you want to be able to have your cards pop out from the background. If you take it against a lot of craft supplies it might get lost in the craft supplies or such. So I do the simple thing. I use 12 by 12 cardstock and pattern papers and I use a white base. So I have just a sheet of white basil card as the bottom and then I have different pattern papers. And when you choose your pattern papers you want to have it in a color that complements your card and you want to have it in a very simple pattern so it doesn't overwhelm your card. And in this case I have just a simple one color green pattern paper actually. So that is my backdrop. And now to the camera. I have gotten amazing results with compact cameras but I do have invested in DSLRs and I have two of them. Um, a couple of years ago I bought my first DSLR which is this one which is a tier 1 Canon 600D. Um, it's the one of the cheaper versions you can get but still have a lot of good things. There's a new one out called 700D uh, which also have autofocus which this doesn't have and that's why I upgraded. I have a 70D is the one I'm recording with. And basically what you get with a DSLR instead of a compact camera is that one you can change your lenses so you can get better lenses than the stock lens. The second thing is you get more choices in how to um, set your settings on your camera. Now when I used this camera, I want to kind of zoom in here, when I used this camera I basically mostly used that setting which is a little head which is for portraits and that is because you get a, fo a very small focus distance which fo you focus on your image and then you get a little bit fussier behind which kind of make your image stand out even more. And the third thing you want to think about is basically light color. Uh, you have like white balance you can set in your camera and usually it is 
um, a sun for daylight, a cloud for overcast, and and so on. We have um, tungsten for ordinary bulbs. You have fluorescent for like LED bulbs. And if you put that setting correctly, the colors of your card will show up more realistically than they will otherwise. And that's basically all I have to say about photographing. Um, I have autofocus on my camera, so I just have to click and shoot, which is very nice. Um, and then I put my cards into Photoshop to um, cut them down to become a little bit smaller so that instead of seeing all of this mess, you only see the card. And that is all I do with my cards. Uh, I hope this helped you in any way and if you have any questions just ask them below and I'll see you later.